Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen the MT1 solutions, and in the MT1 solutions for the second problem, I have done the problem uh, using uh, mathematical procedure. Uh, somebody in the class was asking about the graphical convolution. Here is the graphical convolution. So for the graphical convolution, uh, we can we have to draw first uh, the graphs of both the signals x of t and h of t. X of t is given as uh, u of t plus one minus two into u of t minus one plus u of t. So this is x of t summation of u of t plus one and u of t, and we have to subtract two into u of t minus one from the summation of these two. So if I add these two, I will get uh, from uh, zero from minus one to zero, I will get a value of uh, one, and from zero, this is going to start up. So I will have uh, from one to from zero to one. I will be uh, having a value of two, and at t is equal to one, this quantity we will be having the value of this as two. So the value of this after uh, the the value of this summation after t is equal to one is two, and the value of this is also two. When I subtract, uh, that will become zero here. So this is the typical uh, uh, diagram we got x of t. Now uh, it is easier for me to write uh, x of t as summation of uh, x one of t. And x2 of t, where x1 of t is this, and x2 of t is this. Why I am doing this process? I want to split this x of t into two signals so that the convolution will become easier for me, and uh, we can uh, see that convolution of h of t with the x1 of t plus x2 of t will be equal to convolution of h of t with x1 of t plus convolution of h of t plus x2 of t. This is uh, by the law of uh, Distributive of convolution. So let us move on. I'll be computing uh, the convolution of h of t in the x one of t at the first hand. So the for the convolution of uh, x one of t and uh, h of t, first I have drawn x one of tau. X one of tau will be similar to x one of uh, t, uh, but the independent variable is now changed to tau. And now for drawing h h of t minus tau. First, I have to flip the signal, and then I have to shift the signal by t. So this is what I will get for h of t minus tau. Now the value of t is going to vary from minus infinite to infinite. We have to see for what values of t the overlapping of uh, the non-zero values of x1 of tau and h of t minus tau is going to happen. So for t less than minus one, there is no overlapping region uh, of non-zero values of x1 of t with h of t minus tau. See. If If uh, t is uh, less than minus one, this is going to start somewhere here. So there is no overlapping area where both the signals are non-zero values. Hence, for t less than uh, minus one, the value of this I am going to get as zero. Uh, I think I forgot to write that here. So for uh, t less than minus one, the value of that is going to become zero. Now, when I move this further, this t further, where in between. Uh, Minus one and zero, you can see that now there is a overlapping area. So the overlapping area will start at minus one and end at t. So now y one of t, if I compute, it is uh, the this area is what I want to compute. The area of this rectangular area is given by height in width, height into width, height is equal to one and width is equal to t plus one. So y one of t will be equal to t plus one. And for t greater than zero. This is uh, moved somewhere here. This is t. I think this is got cut off. So this is uh, t here, and the overlapping region is this. It will start at minus one and end at zero. So the area, if you find the width of this is minus one and the height of this is, sorry, the width of this is one and the height of this is one. So the area is going to become one for t greater than zero. So I am drawing the curve for you. For t less than minus one, the value of this is zero here, and for uh, t in between minus one and zero, the value of this Is rising. This is t plus one. You can see, so it's a linear uh, curve we have. So from minus one to zero, well, I'm having the area increasing linearly. And for t greater than zero, the area is going to remain constant. So this is the value we got. So t for t greater than one, the value of y one of t is one. Similarly, if we uh, go on to compute the convolution of x one, x two of t, and h of t, this is how it looks like. So this is your x two of Tau, and uh, this is the flipped and shifted version of uh, h of uh, tau. So this is h of t minus tau. 
Now, for t less than 0, you can see that there is no overlapping between uh, these two signals. Overlapping in the sense that the signals has to be non-zero in a common area. So, now that is not happening for t less than 0. Hence, uh, the value of uh, y2 of t is going to become 0. And now, in between 0 and 1, the if the value of t is in between t 0 and 1, if the value is in between uh, 0 and uh, 1, then the overlapping is going to start at 0 and it is going to end at t. This is t. This is not 1, this is t. So, the height of uh, this one will, will be 1 and the width of this one will be t minus 1. The area under this curve is what I am going to compute. Sorry, the height of this is 2, not 1. Okay. So, y2 of t is equal to 2 min t minus uh, 1 into 2, which is going to give me 2 into t minus 1. And now, for t greater than 1, uh, the overlapping is uh, going to start at 0 and it is going to end at 1. And hence, the area of this is again, uh, uh, the height of this is 2 and width of this is 1. So, the area is going to be 2 here. Now, further moving on, we can see we have y1 of t and we have y2 of t. Now, we have to add these two. y1 of t is here. y1 of t is here. In between minus 1 to 0, there is a linearly increasing curve. So, in between uh, minus 1 to 0, there is nothing here. So, this will remain same for y of t, y1 of t plus y2 of t. So, in between uh, 0, minus 1 to 0, there will be a linearly increasing curve. And from uh, 0 to 1, there is a linearly increasing curve here and uh, there is a value of 1 here. So, if I am just going to add this 1 to this y2 of t, which is a linearly increasing curve, this will just give you a DC shift here. Okay? So, this, this is going to move just upwards and after t is equal to 1, the value of this is a constant at t is equal to 2 and the value of y1 of t is 1. So, 2 plus 1 is going to be 3. So, you can see the output waveform y of t, we got uh, a sum of y1 of t plus y2 of t. It is same as uh, what we got earlier. Yeah, this is the one we got. So, have a nice day. We will meet again.